The psychiatric market is huge, and, and every company out there wants a little piece of that, that pie because it is so lucrative. We did a lot of lunches and dinners, and we brought in speakers, and those speaker, speakers were obviously paid by us, and we would wave um, you know, renowned studies at them from renowned journals. But of course, we would never say that these, these studies were paid for by our company and that, the, that the, it was written by a ghostwriter who was paid by our company or that our company tends to do a ton of, of advertising within that particular medical journal. We would never say that. It's the psychiatric meds that are so easy to um, expand into all of the problems of our life. So right now we see the industry, or over the past several years we've seen the industry medicalizing you know, so many different things throughout our life. If you're shy, here, take a pill. You know, if you're um, a little anxious, here, take a pill. If you have road rage, we've got a pill for that too. They have been able, um, the pharmaceutical industry, through direct-to-consumer advertising and the beautiful drug ads that are on television, they have been able to play off our deepest insecurities as human beings, and it's so effective. It's marketing. This is marketing. This is not science. This is incredibly effective marketing. It has nothing to do with science. We're being bombarded left and right with these beautiful ads on the screen, painting this lovely Norman Rockwell life on the screen of beautiful, smiling, happy, sexy people. And we all want a little piece of that. Typically, an ad like that to produce the ad would be somewhere probably in the million dollar range. And then to air these ads, to buy the airtime slots, again, depending on what time of day they're airing or what, t what type of show they're airing on, can cost anywhere from tens of thousands for a 30 second ad up to close to a million dollars. In the most recent campaigns of the last year or so, you're hearing so much of ask your doctor or talk to your doctor about. And when you hear that on the screen, it sounds so nice. It sounds like they really care and want you to discuss this with your doctor. But what the studies have shown is if you actually bring up a brand name drug with your doctor by name, you are significantly more likely to walk out the door with that drug. So they do that for a reason. The industry is responsible to Wall Street and Wall Street first. They have to they have to please Wall Street because they are private industry. And so when you have that scenario, you have to make profits your number one goal. We have billions of dollars being spent right now in terms of marketing, in terms of PR.